What do we have here? What do we have here? No, I'm just playing. If you can guess by the title, we're going to be installing a low pressure fuel pump, the AMS one. I'm going to be going to my dog Isaac. So, yeah. Um, Come to the whole assembly kit. I'll take it out when we get there to his house. Um, He's going to help me install it because he already installed one on his Q50. So, yeah, I'll hit you guys back up when we're cruising right now, you know? Yeah. Um, if you haven't, also, if you haven't watched my recent, go watch my recent. It's a banger. Um, yeah, I'll hit you guys back up in a little bit when we're cruising. We're on our way to a dog, my dog Isaac's house, aka Super Duper Productions on his YouTube slash IG. So, yeah. Look at that kitty right there. Sick. I'll probably hit you guys back up when we get there. Um, yeah. Hey, so we just got here to my boy Isaac's house. Here's the fuel pump. This one's from AMS. Check out the back seats. So yeah, there's just a clip right, this clip right here and then the clip over there. That shit just comes right out. It's better with two people. And then, um, and then this right here, this is the connector when you take off the seats. Uh, these four bolts right here. Uh, you just take those out. I kind of skipped ahead of myself, but yeah. This clip just comes out. Okay. And yeah. And then now we're going to hit those. There's one, two, three, four, five, six little bolts or whatever that we're going to take out. But yeah. So we took out those six bolts like I was talking about. The ring that goes right here. And then you end up pulling the whole stock fuel pump out. Well, thank God this guy reminded me, but when you pull these two cores, you're going to have like a lot of shit flying everywhere. Here's the stock one. Here's the other one. Here's the stock. Here's the AMS one. Look at the difference. Way bigger than the other one. He's pretty much doing everything. He's watching his video real quick. Um, he knows a lot more than I do, but... This is at the whole connections. We're really just replacing this. And then, yeah. Way bigger than the stock one. But, yeah. And then here's my high-pressure fuel pump. No, I'm just playing. He just copped a high-pressure fuel pump from one of our dogs that are local out here in Arizona. So, yeah. Um, it's not that bad so far. Thank God he's helping me. But, yeah. So, whoever's getting the AMS low-pressure fuel pump, it comes with this bottom piece already. And then, according to my dog's video, we took the this little black piece right here on top, this little ring, we took that off of the stock one. And so that's that. Um, the smaller part will go on first. And then now, he's doing the splicing with the wiring and all that. I don't know nothing about that. So yeah. But yeah, so we put it in whatever that's called and he pinched it. Now he's using that little torch thing. That thing's actually pretty sick, bro. This thing's okay. sick. So, <sighs> so yeah, uh, when he, after he did, the, these already came out. Like, so fucked up. This shit you gotta feed sound. them through there? Yeah. Oh yeah, so these, um, those red and black wires that are connected to the new uh, fuel pump, you gotta feed it through this side first before you split it or connect it to the other ones besides the old factory fuel pump. But yeah, so it kind of just feeds in there. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I really should be doing this shit, but we'll be here all day, you know? But yeah, and they end up just feeding straight through a hole on that side. So yeah, that was that. Now you end up getting this bracket that uh, the AMS pump comes with. Not the, I don't think you even think there was another one on there. But you end up, and then you got to kind of mess with it and put it on. But I'm going to flash this to when we got this thing kind of assembled. Cause like I said, it's hot as hell. So we took the old fuel pump off and this is the bag and that connector that you gotta actually connect before you put the bracket on. And so, yeah, we forgot to do that, but hopefully this is helping some of you guys out. But yeah, you gotta kind of line it up. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but yeah. So we got it. Brackets, I mean that bracket that it comes with, 
Thought that we missed a step. The pump's in. Um, next step. Yeah, you got to connect this little shit to here. As what he's doing right now. Um, yeah. He's going to wire the wires. Black and red. Get back together. Probably hit you guys up, be honest. Go ahead and get Santos to a thousand followers. So you yeah. Buy, so you can buy a high pressure pump. Yeah. <laughs> or tell him to sell him. Tell him. Tell him to sell this shit to me, guys. Like, no, nah, but what high pressure pump is this? Uh, the Spool FX 150. The Spool FX 150. This one is popular, huh? Yeah. Yeah. This one's hella popular. A lot of the fast boys use this, but yeah. Maybe in the future we'll get one. For now, we'll wait. You can show how it all went. Yeah, I'm gonna get down. So we just, what are these called? Splend or whatever? Uh, I think this is called butt connectors. Really? Yeah, no, no cap. Yeah. And then this is splice, like, this is splicing. Oh yeah, anyways, y'all get the point. Oh no, never mind, because it's in fuel. So like, is that pretty much it? Like the whole like, Wait, assembly? put it back in? So this is it, guys. Uh... Show them like the whole, like around, just in case they fucking miss Yeah, so if you guys are doing this shit, this is how it looks. Um, guys, this is the whole how it looks assembled and everything. All right, y'all. So here's the pump. There's a line in here that you guys, oh, fuck. Where's the connector? Is it this one right here? No, it's uh, wait, wait, it's the green one. Oh, mm. right here. Okay. okay. All right, so yeah, this green connector right here, this is, goes right here. Yeah, it should click in. Push the green down. Push okay. it down? Yeah, it's gonna line up. You see how it's gonna line the tabs are gonna line up with these holes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, watch. Alright. Alright, so that connector we put in the pump and then you just put that you put it back in there. I was about to cuss, but I'm trying not to cuss. Um you push it all the way back in and this shit there's like a spring, so you gotta hold it there. Then this black bracket type thing. And then now we're putting all these bolts back in, the six bolts that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. So yeah. That's pretty much it up the line and then yeah they're gonna end up hooking up this line too but i'll hit you guys up when we finish so i ended up doing the connector that i told you guys about earlier and then you just connect the uh connector that goes to this right here straight into the pump and then these three bolts i mean these four bolts just put the plate back on and then yeah that's pretty much it 